Hi everyone, it's Fiona here um, at Vissi's Permaculture Educational Centre and I've got sitting with me right now Jamie, Jamie Drew. He's one of our volunteers um, and he's been working with us for uh, two, three weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks yeah. now. And uh, he's been he's offered to um, answer some questions for me. So the pressure's on now, Jamie. <laughs> All right. So, um, so we know that you've been working um, here for three weeks. What made you decide to join Wolfing? Um, well, it's, it's kind of a long story, but um, I've previously woofed five years ago and it was a great experience and I learned a lot. And um, I now have an overseas opportunity where I need more permaculture experience. And so I thought I would search the woofing database for a good permaculture place and get some more experience and some skills. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's been good. <laughs> Brilliant. And so you found one. And where was the place that you found at? The place that I found was Bissy's Permaculture Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> educational um, edu Centre. Educational Centre <laughs> and um, the property, the property out at Cargo. Yeah. yeah, and so tell me, how did you find <laughs> it out there? Very, very peaceful. Mm -hmm. Very peaceful. Um, the variety was work of work was really good. The people were great. Um, the freedom was good. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's an untouched hilltop that you can go and explore. And, yeah. And, and I believe you did that, Jamie. I believe you went yes. up through there. Yeah, and, I went um, up through there. Yeah. I only fell down once. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some. Um, we got some lovely photos sent back with points of where Jamie went um, at, up through the back of the forest, which is a zone five in permaculture. Mm. Um, so, Jamie, uh, what country are you from? I'm from Australia. Yeah, I'm that's Australia, right. born and raised. Yeah. Yep. And I believe you're going somewhere in the future. Yep. So um, I have about a month until I fly out to my Myanmar, Burma, mm -hmm. um, and I'll be there for one or two years, doing permaculture and um, other programs to help the poor of the region boost their opportunities. Mm. Yeah. So aid work that you're doing, and you've had that opportunity now through Wolf to be able to connect and learn about permaculture, and I believe you're doing a PDC, that's yep. where you're going to next. Starting the PDC tomorrow, yep. um, up near Newcastle, mm -hmm. at, yeah, Purple Pear Farm. Yep, yeah. terrific. So you've really had a great opportunity of, of seeing a raw permaculture um, educational centre being set up, yep. Yep. and then now transitioning into one that's already been set up and, and running courses. Yeah. So that, in, in, um, in theory, should be very helpful for what you're doing yeah. when you go to Asia. Yes, definitely. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the programs will be in Asia, but um, it's, it'll be starting from the start, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for okay. sure. Um, and your atmosphere and, and the experience that you've had with Wolfing sounds quite positive, which is a good thing. Yes, yes. Um, so f five years ago, it was a really good experience as well, and I met a lot of good people and um, a lot of good hosts and other Wolfers, and this time has not been an exception, you know, it hasn't been an exception in any way but being good. <laughs> yeah, that's terrific. So would yeah. you um, would you recommend um, volunteering to other people? Oh, definitely, yes. Yeah. I mean, um, you just you just get out there into something different, um, you learn new skills, you meet new people, you come across new ideas. Yes. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, and do you know what? We find the same, as, same <clears throat> with that as a host. Because people will come in and say, have you tried this? And I'll go, no, sounds mm. great. Yeah, you know, yeah. do you want to... Like that retaining wall that you did, yeah, we yeah. had a flooded area um, at the back of the train and um, Jamie just came in and he went, you know, if you did this and put this here and da 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 and, and it was a job that was not never planned, <laughs> but I'm really glad we did do it yeah, because it saved much work uh, um, of clean up every time it rains. It should be pretty permanent. It looks pretty yeah. solid. Yeah. Yeah. So you're quite right. I mean, we can learn so much from each other and be really open. Um, and I love the atmosphere myself out at the property. How caring it is, and everyone's looking out for each other yeah. and yeah. mindful also of people needing space or you know, um, acknowledging work that's done um, and also the fun things that happen too. I did love the um, vans that you guys painted and the artwork, yep. and they've yep. now they've now got names and some pottery. That was good. Yes. Yeah. So yep. much clay out there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So fun things to do as well, which is a good thing. Mm. Um, Jamie, is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. Um, but I'll put you on the spot and you can't Yeah, you put you? me on the spot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I really enjoyed the opportunity to put some structures together mm. out of recycled materials. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, to see, to see what you can do with basically things that are either growing on the land or donated or recycled or scavenged 
was yeah really quite inspiring and mm. it kind of shows that nearly everybody can get a start in permaculture mm, that's yeah. right and it just takes time and effort you can build your home using earth nature yeah. what, that, what it provides yeah. well that's about it for us jamie thank you ever so much for the interview all the best too with your future ventures and i do hope you come mm. back and visit us in the future because I'm, we think you're brilliant i'm pretty sure i will thank you for having me okay <laughs> bye for now everyone thank you